The more we hear the administration say, oh, don't worry about it, everything is going to be fine, and not actually doing anything to, you know, organize the response and, and uh, contain the outbreak, I think the more we climb this wall of worry. So the rate cuts aren't going to help address the root of the problem, which is the disease and the possibility that this do isn't short-lived, that it spreads, that it's very disruptive. And I think that's why we're starting to see worries in the credit market. And actually, you know, some of the dynamics in the credit market are very worrisome. There's a lot of illiquidity there um, that can snowball if there are outflows. So uh, I think we're starting to look at a very serious situation. People are starting to worry about businesses going out of business because um, activity is so disrupted for so long. So well, are you talking um, about small businesses? All kinds of businesses, you know, I mean, think about you, you mentioned the energy sector. I mean, look at where energy prices are and the energy sector was already struggling uh, when, when prices were above 50 in the low 50s. So now if prices stay where they are now, you're going to have some, some energy companies having a very difficult time. Uh, so I think that's, we're starting to see some, some much deeper concerns that could then build on themselves. Steve, what are the key levels you've been watching on the on the S&P 500? Well, I've been looking at the S&P, and you know, you ran the banner before saying we're we're down to the lows since October. That's really, from a perspective point of view, that's not very long. We more or less spent three years more around the 2800 level, more or less gyrating around there. That would be the level I would be looking for for real support. Beyond that. You know, we're just really giving back what we gained in the fourth in the fourth quarter of last year. On the more short-term factors, it looks like we'll close below Friday, last Friday's close, but above last Friday's intraday level. Is, is that important? Those two differences. I, I, I think what you want to see is lows confirmed. You know, lows confirmed. So I think that we, we continue to meander right now. I don't think if we if we really took out last week's lowest lows, that would be a real worrisome sign on a Friday afternoon. I don't think we're seeing that now. But I do think that we would need to, with all the stuff you're seeing in the credit, with all the stuff we've been hearing, we would, we would want to look for it to go into the 2800 level to get back to that level, which was really support and resistance for quite a period of time. So, Julia, to Kudlow's credit, I mean, we haven't really seen the impact in any major data release, especially if you look at today's jobs report. And I get it. It's lagging. Uh, but both it's January and February... Mirror. And January and yeah. December were marked up. I know, but we're coming from a solid footing, I guess, is, is We my are point. coming from a solid footing, absolutely. So Nobody how much does disagrees. that help? It, it depends. I mean, we just don't know at this stage how much disruption we're looking at. We're seeing, you know, lots of cancellation of travel, lots of, um, you know, cancellation of activities. Uh, and, again, we, we are just starting to identify where and how many and, and how bad the situation is. We're seeing universities close down and schools close down. I mean, it can be disrupt, very disruptive. And the less we know, the more we worry. So I think the fact that we haven't had testing available and now we're like going to have a lot of testing and a lot of stuff is going to come out. Um, we haven't taken any preventative steps. And so it's just spread, community spread all over the country. So, I mean, I think it's just... Uh, we, we just don't know right now how deep this is going to go and how mm. long it's going to last.